Hello everyone, my name is Jason Parker and welcome back to this channel about magic. <laughs> Those things get hot. By the way, I have something cool I'd like to show you. This is called an impossible card. If you look at it, it doesn't quite make any sense, but we can turn it around and examine it from multiple angles. This object is made using only one card and there's no glue. It's something you could leave out for decoration at the office or at home on the shelf for other people to look at and be puzzled by. And if you would like to learn how to make one of these, you're in luck because I've made a tutorial on my Patreon. If you feel like joining, it's easy. Just go to Google and type Jason Parker Patreon. You will be helping me in my never ending struggle against YouTube demonetization. And as my way of saying thank you, you'll also get access to a great growing collection of exclusive magic tutorials just waiting for you. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into the reaction video. Today we are taking a look at Patrick Kuhn on America's Got Talent. This guy is a well-known name in the magic community. He creates magic, he performs magic. I haven't done a lot of America's Got Talent reactions lately, but when I heard that he was gonna be on there, I thought, I've gotta do this. It's gonna be good. So without further ado, let's check out what he's got. My name is Patrick Kuhn, and I'm a magician as long as I can remember. It has always been my dream to have my own show in Las Vegas. Don't look the pen, look the cat. Went to my pocket. Just kidding. <laughs> so my parents weren't the biggest fan in magic. They wanted me to go to school, get good grades. So what I did was I would order something online. It would be shipped to my friend's house. I would pick it up during lunchtime, go to my room, lock the door, and I would practice in my room every single day. My wife hates that I love watching magic all day. I would walk with a deck of cards in my hand and she would hate because I'm not holding her hands. <laughs> I'm nervous. I wish you luck. Bye. Okay, I love you. Bye. My dream is to do magic the rest of my life. Make magic out there tonight for okay, America. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Wow, his parents didn't support his magic. His wife doesn't support his magic. I've got to admire this guy for just pushing for what he enjoys despite everyone else around him. Sometimes you got to listen to that inner voice. Not the voice that says, I want to eat another donut right now, but the other voice. Not that voice that says you should murder your neighbors because they're mowing their lawn at 8 a.m. again. No, I'm talking about that third voice, the inner voice, the one in your pineal gland. All joking aside, I do admire his courage and bravery to go after what he's passionate about. His strength of care. Okay, let's just get on with the magic. The talent, I think it will change my life. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Great, what's your name? My name is Patrick Kuhn. Patrick, and yes. where are you from, Patrick? I'm from Pittsburgh. Wow, Pittsburgh. My husband is from Pittsburgh. He loves Pittsburgh. Do you love the Steelers? Of course. Okay. All right. <laughs> Do you love the Steelers? Oh yeah, yeah. I love sports. So, would you like to see a card trick? Got that out of the way. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I do magic. That's great. Were you born with magical powers? Well, I sold my soul a long time ago. Good, good, good. <laughs> then you're very welcome here. <laughs> Are you married? I am married, yes. Okay. Uh, actually, last year. Is she a fan or your assistant or? Uh, she liked magic before, and now I think she's a little bit <laughs> tired of it. Wait, tired of <laughs> she liked magic? <laughs> <laughs> the magic is gone already after one year? <laughs> She thinks I love magic more than her, so yeah. No, I love both. Well, I, I, I would if not you be do well and win the million dollars, she'll love you regardless. Of course, yes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Go for it. Would you mind if I join you guys downstairs? Please. Join us. Please. Awesome. Please do. All right, here we go. So I know this may sound a little bit strange, but the end is the beginning. I brought with me a deck of cards, and this will make sense in just a few moments. Simon, a brand new deck of cards. Can you please unwrap the deck for me? Yeah. Just pull this little seal out. Perfect. And I'm gonna take this out. <laughs> Simon's part. Is that all I'm supposed to do? Audience interaction, check. A brand new deck of cards come factory sealed with sticker. And as you can see, every deck of cards come in brand new deck orders. Jokers and add cards. We don't need those. <laughs> All dramatic. the cards, Simon, your shuffle, please. Give the deck a nice mix and shuffle. 
Wait a second. If the deck was in new deck order, why is there a six of clubs on the bottom? Actually, I'm sure it's just some editing because these shows, Fool Us, AGT, they do a lot of editing just to streamline things because it has to be fast paced for TV. Probably, I'm just guessing, Patrick Kuhn said something like, can you shuffle the cards like this, for example, and then handed them to him. The editors cut out stuff they don't think is important. Although sometimes those parts that get chopped out are important because the editors themselves aren't always magicians. Anyways, I thought I would just point this out because if I didn't, someone else would point it out in the comments below. And now you know that I know that we know we're both watching and we're, the veil has been pulled from our eyes. Let's keep going. He's almost as good as Sophia. Yeah, right? he's almost as good as me. <laughs> good? Perfect. Now watch closely. The first one, the Ace of Spades from Shuffle Deck. Wow, The that was Ace nice. of Spades. Really cool. And the rest in just a few <laughs> seconds. Each one of the ace is for each of you. The spade, the diamond, the clubs, and the hearts. You can see there's markers on the table. I want you to sign on the card nice and big so we know that these are the only aces that exist in this world with your name on Sign our name? Yes, make it nice and big. Perfect, I'm gonna take the cards, show the camera. The hearts, the clubs, the diamonds, and the spades. You know why most people don't believe magic? It's because they haven't seen real magic. Watch closely. As the first one travel, invisibly. From invisibly card, become <gasps> visible. I just gotta say that was very nice. For the magicians out there, I'll speak in code and say that his sleight of hand was squeaky clean, rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, with the soap in the tub, his sleight of hand was quite spotless and clean there. So although he did that move, he did have a variation on it that I haven't seen before. Usually I've seen that vanish where you're holding the entire deck, but he was just holding three cards, which is pretty cool. Continuing. You're kidding me. I'll do, do it, it one more time. <laughs> do it again. Oh, from here, watch. <laughs> no, like, we're in what? shock, we're in How shock. <laughs> Look, one last one, check this out. You're amazing. Can you please hold out your hands? Hold my hand out? Put your hand on top. Okay. <laughs> I like that interaction. You're amazing. Hold out your hands. Hold out my hand. Put your hand on top. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the deck, watch closely. Ace of hearts, this time in slow motion. One, two. Wow! Let's see that again. Ace of hearts, this time in slow motion. One, two. Wow. One more time. One, two. That is just beautiful. After watching it three times, I understand halfway how he did it. But honestly, I'm fooled. I don't know how he got it to disappear so smoothly like that. There are hundreds of color changes and card vanishes out there. And I think I've seen this one a couple times on Instagram, but I don't know the name of it. And I don't know how to do it. And anyway, I just gotta say kudos to him for performing that live on stage right in front of the judges. That's some really nice and smooth sleight of hand and very bold of him to do it. Continuing. Lift up my hand? Yes. Open your hands. The ace <laughs> of hearts! What? It traveled wow. back. How, How did we... that happen? <laughs> Check this out. Tonight, I want to leave you with a piece of mystery. All the aces has your name on it. And I'll do it one more time, and this time in reverse. So watch closely. Sophia and Heidi, mm -hmm. I want you to please lift up your hands, hold out your hands. And I want to hold both your hands out like this, extend them out, face down, both hands, both hands. Yes, perfect. I want you to cover on top, cover on top like this, perfect. Hold it nice and tight. You know, this may sound a little bit strange. The end is the beginning. The beginning is the end. Ladies, slowly lift up your hands. We made it back. Brand new sealed deck of cards. It's really good. Very cool. Wait, we've been here before. Simon, you know what to do. Oh, it's his job, his specialty. Take out the cellophane. 
Look, you did a better job this time. Card, come factory seal with sticker. I take out all the cards out. No. And we're in there. You kidding me? No. Brand new card. Ace to king, ace to king, ace to king. Except for one difference. The no ace jokers. The spade has your name on it. Oh. Wait, not just that. Look, yeah. the ace of clubs <laughs> with your name on it. The ace of diamonds with Sophia's name on it. And the last but not least, Howie, your ace of hearts. Thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoy the ride. Wow. Okay, I'll go ahead and give you my thoughts before we hear from the judges. Obviously, he's gonna be moving on to the next stage. He did an amazing job. Personally, I love to see difficult sleight of hand magic on TV. It takes a lot of courage because you've just got one shot to impress these judges. It's not like a street magic video where you can go out there and perform the effect, and if you failed, you could just go find a different audience and do the same trick again. This is just like one shot and it's gotta be one kill. Also, I thought it was really funny when he said, Howie, lift up your hand, and then the ace was stuck to his hand. He turned it over, and it kind of looked like that was part of the magic effect. But in reality, it was just Howie's sticky, slimy hands. Probably too much hand sanitizer. As far as the aces appearing back into the box, that was a cool effect. I've seen stuff like that before. I'm sure you guys all remember Sean Farquhar on Fool Us. All right, now let's hear what the judges have got to say. Wow. I mean, it was happening right in front of our eyes, like this close. How on earth did you do this? I saw my soul a long time ago. You good. <laughs> that was special. That was like mind blowing. You were like right in front of us. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank Very you. good. Simon, there are certain things that can't be explained, which means it's magic. People laugh at me for saying that, but I do believe in it. Of course. And I liked your whole presentation was very cool. Yes. Uh, it was a really, really, really good audition. Well done. First of all, I hope you win because I want, I want you to love your wife. Of I course. want to bring the magic. More than magic. <laughs> yes, equal at least. Anyway, yes. let's vote. Heidi. I'm going to start it with a yes. Thank you so much, Sophia. Yes. Thank Obviously, you. it's Simon. all yeses. You got your third yes. Four yeses. Yes. yes. You so good. How did he get us back in the deck? It's one thing to watch magic, but when it's happening against your own flesh, like yeah. it's under your hand yeah. and you don't feel anything changing, so that proves magic. Yeah. In conclusion, magic against your own flesh. Hmm. <laughs> That could be a whole new specialty of magic. Anyways, congratulations to Patrick Kuhn. What an amazing job. I could definitely see him going all the way and winning America's Got Talent, especially if he can keep up that caliber of magic as he progresses through the rounds. But yeah, I mean, great performance. It was fun to watch. It was interesting, engaging. It just moved right along. It really kind of had two main components, if you think about it. There was the middle part that focused on the slide of hand, like it's happening right in front of your face. It's like cards are just teleporting. And then the second part, which is more of just an impossible thing, thing like suddenly the cards are in the box. It's like two different styles of magic punching your brain at the same time. So yeah, what can I say? I enjoyed it. Feel free to leave your comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys thought about his performance. Remember to check out the Patreon if you'd like to learn how to make this little beauty and see a bunch of other magic tutorials. And now it's time for an Aesop's Fable. We're gonna read a short one and learn something about life. Today, let's do chapter 131, The Hound and the Hare. Got a nice little picture depicting the scenario here. <clears throat> the Hound and the Hare. A young hound started a hare, and when he caught her up, would at one moment snap at her with his teeth as though he were about to kill her, while at another he would let go his hold and frisk about her, as if he were playing with another dog. At last, the hare said, I wish you would show yourself in your true colors. If you are my friend, why do you bite me? If you are my enemy, why do you play with me? And the moral of the storyline is, he is no friend who plays double. Okay, so how can we interpret this one? Yeah, what do you do when you have a friend or a family member or a colleague who at one time acts as a friend to you and another time does things that harm you? How are you supposed to reconcile that? Well, I suppose a kind of wise way to look at it is realize that in our world, not a lot of things are black and white. The only reason we might look at a person and say, that's my friend. This is a good company. That's a great car. That's a banana. 
is because it makes it easier for our brain to classify things and label them. We have to simplify the world we operate in so our brain can let go of that part and focus on other things. So when we interact in this world, we make our model that represents the reality. And it's best to remember that nobody's perfect, everyone has their flaws, and maybe things are best considered on a spectrum, you know? This person is your friend, but it doesn't mean they might do something that could be very bad. And of course, if it exceeds a certain threshold of badness, you're gonna excise that person from your friendship circle. At any rate, that's about the best I can do. So go ahead and leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear your interpretation interpretation of the fable because maybe I missed something there. That being said, thank you for being here, for smashing like, for subscribing, notification bell, all. Oh, I hope you're having a wonderful week so far, keeping an optimistic mind, being aware of the things you're thankful for, and I'll see you next time.